Hello, mineral artists. I am Mrs. Cleary. I am the art teacher at Northside, and I am here to show you how to create some pixel art on your Chromebook. While you're in your art Google Classroom, it might look a little different than the screen, but you're going to go up to the top tab in your classwork, and inside there, your teacher has a document labeled pixel art. I'm going to open that up, and it says, watch the lesson in video in the Google Classroom to learn how to create your own pixel art using your Chromebook. So that is what you're doing right now. You are watching and learning. I'm going to open that document, and there are going to be some things in there already. There is a column of numbers, and next to the numbers is a color. So I would think of an image ahead of time, or maybe just start creating and something will come to you. When you click on a box and you enter a number like 4, and I click off that box, it's going to turn it the color that's next to that number. So it's green because I made a four. So I'm going to create a couple of more. And what I'm doing is I'm thinking in my head of something that I'm creating. And some of you are probably going to guess this quite quickly, that this definitely is going to start out to be a tree. So inside this tree, I might have some ornaments that are different colors or some lights. So if I make a one, it's going to turn it red because the one is right next to that red. Maybe right here I'm going to have a six. So if you can look at the six, it's going to be a nice dark blue. This tree is going to have lots of colorful parts. An eight turned it purple. So every time you make a picture, oh, there's just green again. Every time you make a number inside a box, it's going to turn it that very same color. Maybe on top of this tree, I'm going to have more of a star shape. And it might not look like a perfect star, because remember, pixel arts, everything is going to be boxed and not have a smooth edge. So once you have created a picture, your art teacher would love to see what it looks like. Your art teacher will get a copy in the Google Classroom. But on your Chromebook, you can also take a screenshot so that you can share it in Artsonia. So on my screen, I'm going to open up a tab. And it just has a picture of your keyboard from the Chromebook. So if you press that Control button all the way down at the bottom left corner, and the button at the top row that looks like a box with some lines next to it, that will take a screenshot of your entire picture, and it saves it right into your Google Drive. From there, you'll be able to load it into Artsonia. So have fun creating some pixel art. If you want to create multiple images, multiple pictures on this very same sheet, you'd be able to do that. I could click over here, and I could create a separate picture. The neat thing about this is if you want something that is colored in solid, like I want a whole row of purple, there's a little box that appears on this. And if I drag it down, the whole row would be purple. So if I want a whole row next to it to be yellow, I'd make that number three. Select it. That means I just clicked on it. And if I drag that little blue box all the way down, it goes and copies it. And I could do that this way. In this way, I could get a whole bunch colored really quickly. So have fun creating. Your art teachers are anxious to see your work.